What's up everyone and welcome to another video. Before we start this video, if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification by pressing the bell icon. And also, watch this video till the end to know everything about the upcoming Surface Duo. Microsoft will announce a new smartphone for the first time since the end of Windows 10 Mobile, the Surface Duo. It is named Duo because it features a dual screen design. Originally, the phone was expected to be released during the 2020 holiday season, but rumors now suggest that it could be launched as early as summer 2020. With the special dual screen features under the hood in Google's Android operating system, there is plenty to excite. Here is what we know about it up till now, price and release date. Microsoft announced at its October 2019 Surface event in New York City that the Surface Duo is expected to be launched in time for holiday 2020. This usually means November or December, but things have changed in the months since then. The phone might arrive much sooner. A working version of the Surface Duo has recently been spotted in the hands of a Microsoft employee, with Microsoft upping its development efforts for the device. The Windows Central blog also states that the Surface Duo might arrive as early as this summer, which might mean that between July and August you could have one in your hands. This will also make sense, as we learned that Microsoft has scheduled a spring event for its other Surface items such as Surface Book 3 and Surface Go 2. It's nothing else, then we hope at least to learn more about the Duo as long as the coronavirus may not postpone its release. As far as pricing is concerned, at present little is known about how much the Surface Duo will cost you. The last top range smartphone from Microsoft, the Lumia 950XL, entered at $650 when it launched back in 2015. You would expect the Surface Duo to come in at a similar price, but folding or dual screen smartphones are now within the $1000 plus range. Judging by the Samsung Galaxy Fold's price, we guess that it will be in the same price category. Design Microsoft has not yet revealed several aspects relating to the Surface Duo design, battery life or functionality. However, we do know is that the Surface Duo is unlike your typical folding smartphone. As with the Galaxy Fold, the Surface Duo panel itself does not fold. Instead, it has two separate panels connected by a 360 degree hinge. The hinge is built to stay out of the way, hidden inside the panel, under a polished metal surface. The Surface Duo technically features two 5.6 inch screens which fold out to a total of 11.2 inches. The Size. Meanwhile, on each of the two screens had been rumored to be 1350 by 1800. It has not been confirmed, but if it is true, the displays will be given a pixel density of about 401 pixels per inch. It all comes without a tough compromise, as Microsoft also said the Duo is only 0.19 inches thick. However, there are thick bezels around the top of the screen, so don't hope this to be like the Samsung Galaxy bezel-less phones. Finally, the other ports on the device need to be discussed. Not much is official in this department, but the Surface Duo prototype models have a fingerprint reader on the device side and a USB-C port. However, there will be no headphone port. Camera Like several other Surface Duo technical aspects, we don't know much about the camera. Aside from Panos Pane, Microsoft's device group's chief product officer, saying that the Duo will have a good camera at a 2019 event in Berlin. Microsoft has not said anything specific about that. We are all unaware of the megapixels and the type of sensor on the camera. Otherwise, we got a preview of the image quality of the Duo's camera. Pane posted a photo on his Instagram, which he says was taken on his own personal Surface Duo. In the picture, the background is especially vivid and colorful. However, Instagram was famous for compressing picture quality, so the picture does not really portray what you will get when the Duo launches. What we often note is that the Surface Duo doesn't have a back camera, at least from prototype videos recently seen in public. This means you won't find a camera like your average smartphone at the outside of the Duo. The Duo is likely to have only one selfie front-facing camera on the inside the screen alongside a flash. You will need to flip the unit around to take advantage of the camera when you need it. The app and software experience. The Duo uses Google's Android 10 operating system, with the Microsoft Launcher software offering a custom skin and dock or lock screen. This is where the two screens and the hinge play a role. Microsoft claims that this feature has many benefits in usability. You can place apps side by side, move apps from one screen to the next, and stretch them over the screen and hinge. The hinge, like a typical Windows 2-in-1, allows it to be folded over into four different modes. The first is extended canvas, where applications stretch across the hinge. The second is two-tab, where applications 
weapons can be easily accessed. There are also the dual and companion modes where you can pick your devices to open the Android home screen and device panel side by side. Microsoft has also reported that by default, apps would have a single screen view but can be extended to cover both displays when the device is placed in a double portrait or double landscape format. Performance Like all else about the Surface Duo, Microsoft has remained secret about the device's specifications. Not much is known about the specification. Judging from the Windows Central report, it is suggested that the Surface Duo may come with the Qualcomm 855 processor inside. This is then coupled with 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. No news on expandability or support for SD cards yet. The Surface Duo will still be a decent choice for multitasking and more. Based on feedback from other phones with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset, it's now a year old but it's been used in other phones including oneplus 7 pro samsung galaxy fold lg v15q and sony xperia x1 the qualcomm processor option also means the surface duo won't be a 5g compatible handset if you purchase a device you won't be able to take advantage of the benefits of existing and future 5g networks that's all for now thanks a lot for watching guys my name is hamza this is tech Filter, and i'll catch you in the next one